Welcome to Flash CS5 Tutorial 33. It's titled Keyboard Letters Move to Objects. It's a follow up to the CS5 Tutorial 30, which was Arrow Keys with Limits. Just to show you what that looks like, I have it opened on my stage now. And it's just this object which we have controlled by the arrow keys. The first thing we're going to do is have this controlled by some of the letter keys and not the arrow keys. Not much big difference, but that's what we're going to do. Open the action script layer and make some changes where you see right. I want right capital D. Let's come go and use the letter D for the right. For the left. I'm going to use A, the keyboard stroke A. For up, I'm going to use the letter W. And for down, I'm going to use the letter X. Anytime we see right here, I got to put a D. Come and the code for the right key, it's not 39. 39 is for the right arrow. The code for the right key is 68. That's just that's all that's all the difference is. But we're going to make two two things. The left left was A and the code for A is 65. Down to the next one. Up up was the W key and the code for the W key is 87. And the last one of these particular section was the down key, which was the X key, and the code for that was 88. So let's go down further into our script, and we got to make these same changes here. Right was D, and the code was 68. The left was A, and the code was 65. The up was the W key, and the code was 87. And the down was the X key, and the code was 88. Down this add event listener, and where I see right, I need to add the D. Left here, I have to add the A. Up, I have to add the W. And down, I have to add the X. And the reason we're doing this is we're going to make a game and. It wouldn't be fair if someone had the arrow keys, which they're used to using, versus someone has four letters that aren't quite the same spacing. Let's test this out. Test the movie. And W is up. A is right, left rather. X is down. D, and if I press 2, it'll go at an angle. So that's working really well. Okay, so now we're going to do the same. We're going to repeat this whole thing, but now we're going to use four different keys. So let's copy these four variables. Right click, copy them. And let's paste them here. And my right is going to be the L key. My left is going to be the J key. Up is going to be I. And they're almost in the same position as the other ones. And my down is going to be M. Let's put in a little let's put in a little code right here. Uh, two slashes. And let's just write this as being W A D and X keys. So we know what they what they are. And we want to copy 
from here I'll take that with us this time and just change it right down copy all this down to here I don't think we want this this is the part of the function I don't think we want this curly bracket and I don't think we want this curly bracket and let's right click copy that click right there so I'm putting this between it's going to be between these two curly brackets I'm going to paste it and instead of it being W A just replace this with I J L and M now let's do these ones now right is going to be my L key and the code for that is going to be 76 come down left is going to be the J key and the code for the J key is 74 the up key is going to be the I its code is 73 and the down key is going to be the M key and its code is 77 okay that's what sets this variable to a 1 now we got to do the same thing for these new ones where the variable is going to be set to 0 so again let's put this here as being the W oops two backslashes W A D and X keys and we're going to copy all that same thing leaving a open a closed curly bracket here for the function and the open one up top here for the function right click copy it come down here insert line paste it and this is going to now be those new ones the I the J the L and M keys the right key was the L and it's 76 the left key is the J and its code is 74 the up key was I and it was 73 and the down key is the M and its code was 77 and that's good now we got to put the limits on those new keys so in this function down here same thing let's put label this as being the comment comment this out the W the A the D and the X so we know what they are highlight copy it I'm gonna highlight all this same rules right click copy same procedure paste it in and going to follow through on the same thing this is going to be the I the J the L and the M 
the right key is the L the right key was the L the left key is the J the up key was the I and the down key was the M let's go back to the main timeline so I'll pull this up here for a minute select that first ball layer the blue one insert a layer call it B A L L R as in ball red pick up my rectangle tool pick up the oval tool I'll uh, make a stroke of black and a fill of red and hold the shift down make a ball pick up your selection tool highlight it go up to modify convert to a symbol call it ball B A L L red capital R underscore MC ball red underscore MC make sure it's a movie clip while it's still highlighted open your properties panel and give it an instance name we'll give it the same name B A L L capital R underscore MC now we just have to go into the action script and change that okay, down here down here we're talking about this new new ball so every where we see ball put an R R this is the lower section R R R again that's a slow process but when we're finished we might have a nice little game now I think we have everything done with a little bit of good luck first of all I see no errors the blue still works the red goes up the red goes down the red goes right the red goes left and it goes on an angle that's enough for this tutorial there's going to be a follow-up flash CS5 tutorial 35 it'll be titled a two-player game and if you plan on doing that make sure you save this FLA I hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learned.